I just, I mean, learned a ton about just the actual driving of the truck, you know, how they handle different. I'm used to late models, lighter cars, smaller stuff. The truck's very big, heavy, bulky, a lot harder to handle, and I've just learned a lot more with car control and how to race around other trucks at the higher speeds as well. As a, uh, a team that doesn't have the resources of, uh, of the big guys, uh, let's talk about the advantages and maybe are there any, I know there are a lot of disadvantages, are there any advantages? Uh, there are advantages. As far as my case goes, I actually work in the shop. I'm the driver as well as the fabricator and the setup guy and everything else. So within that, you know, I'm able to do basically anything there is to the truck and that helps me so I know, you know, how to work on the truck. You know, I understand how it all works, how it goes, as well as, you know, if driving doesn't work out, that gives me another great opportunity to move on in the career in NASCAR is just being a worker as well. You told me that you pick your races, uh, you know, from a budget standpoint within a certain radius, but do you also pick your races because of certain tracks that you do well at? Uh, yes, uh, there is, of course, the, the limited resources for us, so the bigger tracks, the faster tracks where more aerodynamics is played in, you know, you need wind tunnel time and, and better bodies hung on the trucks and stuff like that, so we try and stray away from tracks like that where it's going to be a big disadvantage to us because we don't have, you know, the wind tunnel data and stuff like that. Uh, are there certain tracks that you like personally that you'll try to make sure that you make a race there and then, you know, Yes, there is. Uh, we, I really like the short tracks. It gives us more of an edge because, you know, the, the truck, our type of trucks are better on the shorter tracks. So we try and hit those especially. And uh, we do have uh, the track down in Texas. We've had several good runs down there and done really well. So we try and hit that one every year as well. What are your goals for the year? Uh, goals for this year, uh, we had, went down to Daytona and tested there in January, had a really good test, ended up ninth on the charts. Uh, big goal for us is to make that race and try and do very well there. Uh, we'd like to get some uh, top 15s, a top 10 would be a huge goal for us, but of course our number one goal is to make the race and survive the race because we can't afford to tear very much stuff up. Obviously, Daytona is the big one for every race, every series. So do you put 90% of what you're going to try to do into that race? Yes, we've put a lot of time and effort. We started back at the beginning of December getting this truck ready, and it's in the body shop right now getting ready to paint on Monday. So we put a lot of time into this and a lot of effort, and we really want to try and get this one right because, indeed, it is a very big race for us. When you beat one of the big guys, you test, you know, you beat somebody big. Uh, obviously, it gives you confidence, but it just means your team's heading in the right direction. Doesn't it? Exactly. We had two races there at the end of this last year where we we got up there and we were racing with uh, some very big names, some Cup drivers like Brad Keselowski and Kyle Busch that we were we were racing side by side with last year, and we went down to the test and beat several of those guys that are you know multi-million dollar teams.